Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. As you can see, I'm standing here in front of our dairy equipment. Well, the vo vote on the poll is in, and we are getting rid of dairy. Um, a lot more people wanted to see Seasons mod than dairy, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell off our dairy equipment. Uh, this is actually my second attempt at this video. I accidentally sold too much stuff, and then I also needed to download a couple of mods uh, to get some things to set up for this video. Now, we're going to go ahead and get all this stuff sold off. Uh, we're just selling it through here because we're not going to waste the time of going and hauling everything down to the dealership and doing it all that way. Now, that should be everything. I have one thing down here on this end that I don't want to give away, if I can help it. Okay. I know you guys probably saw a little bit of it there, but... Um, now, if you remember, our silos are completely full of silage. So we have 200,000 liters of silage that, at the moment, we have nothing to use it for. But we can sell it. As you can see, I have a sell point placed right here. Another thing that we need to sell here is one of our uh, pressure washers. That would be that guy right there. Uh, as you can see, we have this right here. This is a placeable sell point I got from Mod Hoster. This is one of the things that I forgot to download right away. Um, this allows us to sell silage if we move on over here to the silage $778 a ton right here uh, it's not a whole lot but it is going to be some extra money and uh, we can always use extra money right now um, let's go here now if you see our pickup is not here and you might have saw our PJ is not here either. Well, if you're wondering where those are, it's right here. Now, I have a little surprise right here uh, that I'm going to not give away quite yet. So, now, since we are going to be using Seasons Mod, we're going to need something to move snow with in the wintertime. Now, we did sell our loader tractor, so what are we using? And also, what are we using to sell silage? Because you can't use a gravity wagon. Well, the answer to your question lies right here. So, we purchased a Bobcat T770. And the biggest CSZ bucket that was in there. Although, I'm wondering now if we shouldn't get a different one. I think we're going to get the uh, JCB bucket instead here. Just because it seems a, it's a little more fitting for this skid steer here. Okay, so we got the JCB bucket. And then I also leased this International Lodestar grain truck. So um, we can use that to sell our silage. And we're just leasing it so we don't have to uh, keep it or anything. And it didn't cost a whole lot of money to buy either. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to load both of these ooh, both of these items on our trailer here um, and haul them up to the farm and then we're going to spray our uh, soybeans and corn today and if we have some time yet we will sell a load or two of silage but we will have to see what we have left for time. Uh, we, if we don't get to selling silage now, we will... I mean, we're going to sell silage next episode regardless of what... Uh, you know, if we sell silage today or not. Um, because we're going to empty out what we have in storage. So that way, when we fast forward time to grow our crops, that 
other amount of silage will also uh, grow, or not grow, but ferment. Whoops, that was my bad. Uh, that will also ferment, and it'll allow us to sell that as well once we get done with our harvest. Or once we get done fast forwarding, whichever, you know, whether we wait until after we are done combining for the year, or if we do that before we finish combining. Uh, but regardless, we are going to be doing something with it uh, at some point. So we have 100,000 liters ready to go right now, and then another 100,000 liters in storage. Uh, there was still 6,000 liters in that uh, forage wagon, but I, since we're just selling it, I figured there's no point in keeping that around and waiting until we ferment a little bit more silage. Uh, to be able to dump that in there. It didn't pay, I guess. Uh, see, now, if we were going to be doing the dairy and using it for that, then I'd say, yeah, we probably can keep it, but now we have no point or no reason to keep it, so... Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about is can I return that truck straight from here? No. So you must have to drive leased vehicles back to the dealership or something. I don't know, I've never I've never actually leased anything in 17 yet, so or maybe I have, I don't know. I don't remember leasing anything. But I don't think I ever did figure out if I did lease anything I didn't figure out how to return it. I'm guessing you gotta drive it back to the dealership since you can't do anything in store. And I don't think your time just ends or anything, so... But as you can tell, we are on the ninth day of summer. So, in a day or two, we should be combining. Um, hopefully, anyways. Ah, oh, I was trying not to take out the stop sign. Darn it. I did it anyways. Um, and if you remember yesterday... We finished up our wheat harvest, got that all done, uh, ended with, I think it was just under 80,000 liters of wheat, or just under 78,000 I thought maybe, I don't remember, it was, it was higher than 75,000 but less than 80,000, I remember that. Um, it's actually been a couple of days for me I think. I don't even remember anymore. I've been doing so much recording and other stuff uh, the past couple of days, so I'm kind of starting to uh, lose track of things just a little bit. Alright, so we are going to pull right up over here beside our shed. We're going to shut our truck off, get our ramps unfolded, and they're going to mess with the truck again, but oh well. And then we're going to go ahead and get in here. No, nope, I want the truck, please. There we go. Uh, let's just throw this in group 7 for now. And we're just going to back this off of the trailer. And we'll leave it sit here. Right here for now. And then we can hop into our bobcat. So because this bucket's not designed especially for this bobcat, it just clips through and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, so this bobcat you can choose between the T770 and the S770. The only difference is this one has tracks, uh, hence the T. And then the other one has uh, wheels. So that's really the only difference between the two. I figured tracks might be a little bit nicer uh, traction in the winter time. Uh, they kind of are in real life from what I've read and learned and heard and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the only bad thing is, you know, like you have to park it in a heated shop. Um, otherwise, your otherwise the snow like we'll pack into the rollers and stuff like that and completely freeze them up and I believe it'll start 
breaking stuff. Okay, what's going on here? Huh. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get some spraying done. We're gonna get this uh, third round of fertilizer applied, and hopefully we will have a awesome yield. I mean, you gotta hope, right? <laughs> So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get at it. We do still have about 19 minutes, so we might not make it, make, uh, we might not get around to selling silage. Sheesh, if I could get my words right here. But, um, we will next episode, that's probably what the next episode will consist of, is selling. Uh, but... Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Gotta wait for it to unfold. And we're just gonna go ahead. Oh. Might as well get uh, get this thing set up first. And so I know this field. We shouldn't have any trouble spraying because this one. Uh, it's basically a down and back pass. I remember that. So this field's pretty easy in that sense. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a thumbnail picture. Alright, now let's get out of here. Yeah, you really can't tell all that well as to uh, where you have and haven't gone. But uh, on the other two fields, we'll use GPS. Uh, I know this tractor would not really have GPS. I mean, I guess it could be, uh, you know, something that somebody added afterwards, but, um, just really don't. Uh, we may also have to lease a forage wagon, um, to sell our, we could pick up and sell our straw, or we can just leave it to, I'm not sure what to do with that yet. Um... I just want to leave it and work it into the ground and you know incorporate it for next season's fertilizer um, a little bit or if we should just pick it up and sell it but I think we can just leave it um, I don't see any reason why we couldn't I mean it'll it won't contribute a whole lot to next year's fertilizer but it will help just a little bit it'll help enough that uh, it would be okay to leave and, uh, and we don't really need to waste the time on it okay there's that field done uh, yes I am just gonna leave it unfolded because I'm just gonna try and pop through the ditch here just like this. Alright, let's get this set up. There we go. Let me drop that down a little bit. Come on. So we're going to have to drive a little bit here by hand because of the uh, poles there.
those are going to be a bit of a pain in this field. More so with the spraying, like our combining it won't make much of a difference. It is kind of funny though with the cornfield how um, it looks fully grown right now, but it actually isn't. Like it's not not fully grown, it just it looks that way. I don't know, it's strange. Must be something in the way that the textures are set up on here. Now I know you probably would not want to do that in real life. In fact, not probably not. You would not want to do that in real life, but this is farm sim, and you know what? Who cares? <laughs> um, but yeah, it, you would not want to do that in real life. Not unless you absolutely had to, but I don't see any kind of position that someone would be in where they would have to do that. So is that going to get all the way over? Yep, it is. Cool. If not, it's pretty darn close and it's not worth coming all the way back up here for. missed my chance. I'm gonna have to do it next round. I'm trying to grab a screenshot while there's soybeans there. Just kind of make it look kind of neat. I can get them where I'm above them. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Just gotta be quick. Extremely quick, but... This is going to want to go in that fence there a little bit, and we do not want to do that because that would not be good. Now I think we might actually be able to do the corn by hand, like without using GPS or anything. It might be grown enough that... Oh, the sprayer was still on. Darn. <laughs> so I just shut it off there. This should be grown enough that I'll be able to tell. Yeah, I can tell for the most part. But I think I may still just use GPS. Just because it's a little more convenient. that pole. Sweet. You can't even see the tractor. Yeah, I definitely messed up on fertilization here this season. Big time. Because there is no way that you'd be fertilizing corn at this stage. Especially since it looks like it's fully grown right now. Nor would you really want to be spraying at this high of a speed. I don't think you'd spray at all this fast, but... We're going to spray at 18 miles an hour just because let's get her done that is my reasoning let's get her done wish I had like a soundboard I'd insert uh, the Larry the cable guy voice saying that just get her done or do it as uh, Mater from the Cars movie that would work even better. I'm 
mean, I guess if I was that good at editing, I could maybe like find a clipping of that and then just copy that audio and put it into this video somewhere, but I'm not that good at editing videos. I just do simple things, that's about all that I do. I don't really go into much, uh, com I don't really do much complex editing. It's all pretty simple. Basically just, you know, throwing screenshots together or uh, adding text or adding a little bit of music or something like that. I mean, it's it's just simple stuff that I do. None of the fancy work of uh, you know, having a recording and talking over it or anything like that. I don't really do any of that. No, I'm not really set up to do that either, I don't think. I don't really exactly know what the method is for that madness as to how you would do it I guess I'm sure I could find a way if I wanted to but I don't really do any kind of videos that uh, would require me doing voiceovers or anything so I'm not too worried about it little bit here all right and that is a wrap we are done spraying we are done fertilizing and all that stuff for the year we won't have to do anything until next year and we're just gonna pop across the ditch here sneak along the edge of our soybean field actually more so in the edge of our soybean field but thankfully I don't have the uh, crop destruction module otherwise I wouldn't be doing that alright so let's get this sprayer cleaned up here this put away and get our tractor hooked back up to our wagon and then we should have enough time to get our grain truck over to the dairy farm we may be able to sell one load of silage off before we uh, have to call it a call it a day but uh, we should be able to get one load off at least Um, so we do have a fair amount of money now, so my thought is that we can maybe do some upgrading, um, maybe getting a bigger plow, and looking at a bigger corn planter as well. I do need to go do some searching around uh, and find a bigger corn planter mod. Uh, or actually, I guess we could just go with the one in-game. Um, the Vatterstad. We could just use that. Um, I don't know if we have enough horsepower or not. Let's take a peek at that once. Sewing machines. Uh, we could go for this one. 140 horsepower. It's 125, 116. So... Our current tractors are a little on the low end for that, but um, we could look into tr 
trading our 1206 in on something just a little bit bigger. Maybe getting like a, a John Deere 4000 series tractor. Uh, we could look into getting one of those and getting a bigger planter. Uh, we'll look into that at uh, the end of the season. And then I'm thinking of upgrading to like. I don't know, maybe the Summers disc. And if we do get the Summers, uh, the Summers and the Landall here, and actually all three of these as well, are all plows and cultivators. Uh, we do have that and that. Could get that one, but it's a little big. We can maybe get uh, get one of these. They're both 85 horsepower. Let's see, I think, what's the difference here? One of them newer or something like that. Oh, one's an 11 shank and one's a 9 shank. So we could go for the uh, 11 shank and use that one. If the interior on that's awful. Uh, you know, we could go for the 11 shank and our uh, big international would be able to pull that uh, quite well. Uh, if we did go for the Summers, uh, how many horsepower is our big international, though? 350. So, yeah, that one's a little bit on the low end for horsepower, but I think I've actually used the international on that, and it pulled it with no problems. So we could go for the Summers, and we could get rid of our cultivator, our current cultivator as well because the summers cultivates and plows at the same time. So um, that could be an option, but uh, we'll have to see, I guess. Uh, you guys let me know what kind of plow you'd like to see us get uh, in the future. And uh, we can take a look at getting one because I want to get a bit bigger of a plow than the 2100 uh, especially because I'd like to expand our operation a little bit uh, I'm thinking of running like maybe fields uh, 8, 10, and 11 next, next year as well in addition to our current fields uh, they are all smaller fields, so uh, they wouldn't be that bad. And maybe looking at adding field 26 to the mix as well. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Alright. Uh, what's going on here that we're hitting? Really? So we've got something going on here. Let's see if we can back under, maybe. That's going to be annoying if we uh, can't use this truck. Yeah, we cannot use this truck. Great. Um, man, we have no other way to get this stuff out of here. Again, I forgot to sign out of Steam. Go figure, right? Man, that is really unfortunate. Um, well, then let's do it this way. We will lease a tipper trailer. Fourteen thousand liters. That could possibly work. Ah, I know exactly what we can use. We can use the Mac 
dump truck. So we're going to get that in black. Wheel setup. Let's go with the Mac tires. Attachers, we don't need anything there. So we'll lease that. And then, um, yeah, so that is going to do it for this episode. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to get this truck driven to town and get it returned. And I'll get the other truck up here and uh, make sure that that one is going to uh, work. And then next episode we will work on emptying out these big silos. So that is going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.